Backyard Brains presents The Electroencephalogram, also known as the EEG. Observe the alpha waves of the visual cortex of the human brain. For this experiment, you need a heart and brain spiker shield, an Arduino, a computer, and yourself. To begin, take the Backyard Brain's custom EEG headband and place it on your forehead such that the electrodes on the back of the headband are located on the back of your head. For the ground, we will place an adhesive electrode on the mastoid process, which is the bony projection you can feel behind your ear. To improve the interface, we will place some conductive gel in between the electrode and the skin. If you have long hair, you can part the hair directly underneath each electrode to further improve the quality of the signal. With your orange interface cable, attach the red alligator clips to the electrodes on the back of the head, which is which does not matter, and the black alligator clip to the ground behind the ear. We then plug the orange cable into the orange port on the heart and brain spiker shield and the USB cable on the other side. The other end of the USB cable goes into the computer, and we are ready to begin. But what is going on here? When your eyes are open, the visual cortex in your brain is processing a lot of information about your entire visual field, about levels of contrast, color, and light. But when your eyes are closed, the field is dark, and hence, counterintuitively, the neurons in your visual cortex become more synchronized. A popular analogy is to imagine yourself outside a stadium during halftime. There are a lot of conversations occurring inside the stadium, a lot of information processing. But outside the stadium, all you hear is a dim hum of noise. This is equivalent to the eyes open condition in the electroencephalogram. Alternatively, during the singing of the national anthem, many of the spectators inside the stadium are singing the same thing. They are synchronized. And this signal is strong enough that you can plainly hear it, though distorted, outside of the stadium. This is equivalent to the eyes closed condition of the electroencephalogram. The physiological underpinnings of the EEG signal are complex and still a topic of active investigation in the neuroscience community, but we currently understand it to be the summed activity of many synapses in the upper layers of the cerebral cortex. Our heart and brain shield thus amplifies the electrical activity of these synapses such that we can view them on a computer under the appropriate conditions. Click on the settings button in our spike recorder software and select connect via USB port. Within a couple seconds, you should see the signal change to a putative EEG signal. You can zoom out of the time scale by using the two finger motion on your trackpad or the scroll wheel on your mouse and zoom in on the Y axis by clicking on the positive button on the left side of the screen. But how do we know this EEG signal is real? Well, let's close our eyes. Those ripples are the 8 to 10 hertz alpha waves of the visual cortex that disappear when the eyes open again. If you click on the FFT button, you will bring up a spectrogram view, which will show the EEG signal decomposed into frequency, time, and amplitude. Thus, when the eyes are closed, you will note the increased signal strength at 8 to 10 hertz. Under appropriate conditions, the alpha waves of the visual cortex are readily apparent, whether you're showing them to your friends on a Friday night in your living room or in front of 200 people for your high school or college lecture course. These alpha waves were first discovered by Hans Berger, a German physiologist in the 1920s, and subsequently verified by Lord Edgar Adrian at the University of Cambridge in the 1930s. We thank our many friends at the Santiago Makerspace in Chile who worked with us to replicate these findings in a compelling and simple way. We also thank our production team, and this is just the beginning as we further our explorations into the EEG signal. What will you discover? Backyard Brains, neuroscience for everyone.